Hey guys, Ash here with 10 Cents. So this video is more of a PSA, a public service announcement, than it is a review or any of the other typical videos that I would make on this channel. Uh, it's come to my attention over the past week or so that there are possibly hundreds and hundreds of fake, inauthentic Rosa Parfums fragrances that are being sold uh, on eBay, in Facebook groups, uh, even at discount websites that most of you have probably used, uh, myself included. So I wanted to go ahead and present to you the information that's been presented to me. You can make up your own mind as to whether you think that these are legitimate bottles that are being sold or if they are fakes. I really just wanted to do this video to make sure that none of you out there are getting screwed because these are being sold for $300 and more. And these are fragrances that are really in demand, so I didn't want any of you out there you know, to get screwed for over 300 bucks. I'm not doing this video to put anybody in particular on blast. I just want to educate you guys and make sure that you know what you're buying. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to show you a lot of pictures, break down what you're looking at, and then you can draw your own conclusions. So let's go. And for those of you that are unaware, Rosa Parfums paper label testers are older testers from Rosa Parfums. Uh, new bottles from Rosa Parfums have a brass plaque on the front, so it's metal now, no longer paper. Uh, so that's what I mean when I say Rosa Parfums paper label testers. All right, so these first pictures that we're taking a look at is the weight of the bottles. On the left, that's an authentic Rosa Parfums Aoud Crystal Parfum bottle. You can see the weight there, 316 and one half grams. On the right is one of the bottles that's having its authenticity questioned. That's Musk Aoud Parfum, and it's weighing in at 292.5 grams. Now these bottles should weigh right about the same amount. Maybe a slight, very slight deviation, but there shouldn't be a big difference like you're seeing here. That means that the, uh, the glass weight is lighter on the uh, Musk Aoud, which means it's a thinner glass, not as high quality, and that's why you're seeing that difference in weight. And oftentimes that's one of the things uh, that people will look for if they think that they have a fake fragrance and they have one that they know is legit, they'll weigh the bottles. They should be really similar, but almost always uh, dupes or duplicates, knockoffs, fakes, there will be a big difference in weight. And just to be completely transparent here, I don't have any of these bottles that are being called fakes or having their authenticity called into question. Uh, but from what I've heard and from what I've been told, the glass is not as high quality. It's a little bit cloudy. It's just overall not as nice as the fire polished glass that Rosa Parfums uses on all their bottles. All right, now we're taking a look at the bottles side by side. You can see immediately that the bottle on the right is smaller than the authentic one on the left. You can also see that the paper label is a little bit uh, skinnier. It's not the exact same size. And if you look at the top of the paper label on the one that's having its authenticity question, the one on the right, you'll see that the paper label is a good deal thicker than the authentic on the left. Also take a look at the atomizers. You can tell they're not the same. They're close, uh, but that's what you would expect from a knockoff, that it would be close, but not the same. Uh, you can see that the size is not the, uh, the same there, and the collar size, uh, the thing that goes around the atomizer, is also a different size than on the authentic to the left. So the sprayer and the collar size both there in correct sizes. And here's a close-up look at the labels. The one on the right, again, the one that's having its authenticity questioned. You can see the label is narrower and also a little bit of a coloration difference. And apparently this is more noticeable in person, uh, but the font on the A is also different between the two. Again, a look at the two bottles, this time from up above. You can clearly see the glass is thinner on the bottle to the right. The bottle is much smaller. Uh, it's just, it's not the same bottle. That really can't be questioned. There were some explanations given by the people selling these bottles that try to explain this all away. We'll go over that in a second. Now we're taking a look at the side of the bottles. You can see, uh, again, on the left, the authentic, on the right, the one that's being questioned. Uh, it's not the same. Rosa Parfums bottles use gold leaf lettering, 
and on the right it's just paint on the left is the gold leaf as it should look so on these ones that are being questioned it's just a, a, a paint that's being applied which is not what it should be it should have kind of a, a shiny gloss to the lettering instead it's got kind of a matte finish on the bottle to the right all right now here is the back of the bottles what we're looking at here is at the very bottom where it says Rosa Parfums on the authentic and on all authentic Rosa Parfums bottles it should look uh, like it does on the bottle to the left here rosaparfums.com with no spaces when you look at the bottle to the right at the bottom where it says Rosa Parfums you'll notice there is a space between Rosa and Parfums so it's Rosa space parfums.com none of the authentic bottles that I've ever seen and really <laughs> no authentic bottle period have that space all right now we're taking a look at the bottom of the bottles you'll notice on the authentic one to the left there is a batch code in ink on the bottom of the bottle all Rosa Parfums should have that batch code in ink and uh, on the bottle to the right there is no batch code I know it's a little bit hard to see because the the, uh, the fragrance is so dark but there's no batch code there so that's another thing that's missing also the glass mold used on that bottle the one that's been questioned is uh, is cheap you can see here a close-up of the bottle it's got some warping down there in the corner uh, which shouldn't be there in an authentic Rosa bottle. Here we're taking a look at the bottles with the atomizers removed. Again, they do look close. On the one that's being questioned, the color size again is different. Now we're taking a look at another bottle of Musk Aoud. This one to the left is authentic, so you can see the color of the fragrance there. It's got a light shown into the bottle, that way you can see it a little bit better, but you can see how much darker the one that is authentic is compared to the one that's being questioned. So again, we've got a, a difference here, which is, uh, is quite large. Now this is a, a quick video. This is showing uh, a presentation piece for Rosa Parfums fragrances that you would sit the bottle inside of at a, a retailer. The first bottle is an authentic Rosa Parfums bottle. You can see it fits in pretty tightly. Uh, the next one is one of the bottles in question. Again, you can see it's much smaller. Uh, it's the same bottle that we saw earlier in the pictures and the caps which are universal for your Rosa Parfums. You can take a cap off of one and it will fit on any other Rosa Parfum. Uh, you see that it doesn't fit at all and that's again that difference in collar size. On the Rosa Collectors Facebook group there's a list of 12 items uh, that the admin has posted to that group making people aware that there are, uh, in their words, 100% fake and authentic Rosa bottles going around. They have kind of a checklist of all the things that are wrong on those bottles. I'll go ahead and read those off for you really quickly. Uh, easy peeling of the flimsy off-colored gold front label with terribly weak, black, and excessively raised ink labeling, which fades rapidly to a white background instead of black. The font is incorrect on the letter A. The size and weight of the glass bottle doesn't match known authentic vintage paper label bottles. The collar has an incorrect size. The standard Rosa caps do not fit these bottles. All authentic Rosa bottles that are created by Poche et du Corval are denoted by the embossing HP on the glass, and these are not. Apologies for a mispronunciation on that. Uh, authorized dealers have reported a strong difference in the scent compared to verified authentic bottles. The website name is incorrectly spaced on the back of the bottle. Rosa gold glossy labeling on the side of the bottle is applied with matte finish paint. Glass from top to bottom inside the bottle of an authentic HP bottle is actually curved, whereas these bottles have no curvature. Incorrect sprayer, which doesn't match any other authentic bottle. Authentic Rosa testers have batch codes. These have none. And as well, an email has been posted to the Rosa Collectors Group over the past 40 minutes from Jack Cassidy, Communications Director with Rosa Parfums Limited and Rosa Dove Limited, in which Rosa Parfums themselves are confirming that there has never been a bottle change with these type of fragrances. So in all honesty, coming from Rosa Parfums, they themselves are saying that these are 100% counterfeit. As well, authorized retailers of Rosa Parfums have come forward and said that these bottles are 100% counterfeit. Uh, many, many collectors in the Rosa Collectors group have come forward saying that these are, again, 100% counterfeit.
counterfeit. The explanation coming from the sellers that are selling these bottles is that these were defective testers sold from Dubai, which is one story that they've given, uh, which really makes no sense. Um, basically, they're saying that there were hundreds and hundreds of bottles made that are just basically what you would see from a 100% knockoff. So uh, that doesn't really hold much water and they haven't been able to substantiate that really other than just saying, you know, trust me guys. And one of the other explanations that I had read was that these were uh, bottles that were done as a trial run of these fragrances before they were officially released, which again really doesn't make much sense and there's nothing there to corroborate that. Uh, but the story is that Roja Parfums made a whole bunch of bottles before these came out officially. Uh, and that's why the bottles aren't up to snuff. They're not up to Rosa Parfum standards. Uh, they're actually completely different. But it doesn't really make sense that they would do that. Uh, it's not like they were doing a trial run on this bottle type and they decided to change this bottle type because the type of bottle that these come in uh, was already out. Rosa Parfums used this exact same bottle in 2010 with the release Aoud. And the fragrances that are in question here were released in 2012, 2013. So that bottle type uh, was already in use by Rosa Parfums. Honestly, taking a look at this, um, I can tell you there's a 0% chance that I would buy any of these paper label testers that are for sale right now. To me, uh, with Rosa Parfums themselves coming forward and saying, hey, we never ever used a different bottle for these types of fragrances ever. Uh, and then having it verified over and over by collectors and authorized retailers that these are bunk, uh, that's enough for me to not pull the trigger on them. And this is kind of strange because this is the first time in memory that I can think of that there has been just an enormous flooding of what seems to be fake fragrances that are very expensive that are now being sold by uh, retailers on Facebook, very well-known people. Uh, that sell fragrances all the time and have for a long time. Uh, eBay, there are really big eBayers that are selling these right now. People with, you know, 50, 60,000 feedback, 99.7% positive, even 100% positive on some of these guys. Uh, they're selling these. And also discounters. And when I say discounters, I mean your big internet discounters that you would use for pretty much everything. You can go right now to a number of discounters online, uh, type in Rosa Parfums, and you will see testers for these fragrances for sale. Uh, they've been contacted apparently by uh, people in the know with what's going on, and they're still selling them. If you go to eBay, there are lots and lots of completed cells on these paper label testers that appear to be fake. Uh, some of the people that were selling them took down their listings, changed their eBay name, and then started selling decants of the paper label testers that are in question. So now they're selling 10 mil decants for $50 of these fragrances, but they took down the actual paper label uh, listing, which kind of makes this look even worse when you have people that are actively changing their eBay seller name, removing the listings, after they've been informed that they're selling fakes and instead replace it with a 10 milliliter decant cell. Again, not trying to put anybody on blast here, uh, but just to be safe, if I were you, I would not purchase any paper label testers unless it's legitimately from an authorized Rosa Parfums dealer. That's If you want to be safe, that's the only logical thing to do at this point because it looks like uh, from everything I'm seeing that hundreds and hundreds of fakes are out there now that are just <laughs> they're, they're everywhere at this point people in the groups have them people who aren't in the groups are purchasing these and thinking they're getting a good deal it's just everywhere I'm recording this after I recorded everything else uh, this is actually being done next day as of last night, uh, close to midnight Eastern time, the largest Facebook fragrance swapping and purchasing group actually did make an announcement that they were banning the sell or splitting of these Roja paper tester bottles. 
The admins of that group aren't taking an official stance one way or the other, but they're saying that if anybody's selling these in those groups, or rather had sold them, uh, they were not aware that they were counterfeit. But as of right now, they're not allowing anybody to sell those on the Facebook group, so that's a good first step at least. But I mean, that is what it is. Best thing I can tell you is to protect yourself. Um, don't buy any of these, in my opinion. Uh, you're much more likely to get ripped off than not. If anything else of interest pops up in regards to this whole Rosa debacle, I'll make a follow-up video. But as of right now, the way it stands, just boiled down to its simplest points. Uh, Rosa Parfums themselves say these are fake. Authorized retailers say these are fake. Rosa collectors say these are fake. All right, guys, if you have any thoughts on this, uh, leave them in the comments. It's been uh, really blowing up on the Rosa Collectors fragrance group, but it's, uh, it's a small group. There's under 700 people on there. So I wanted to get this out to all of you and hopefully save some of you from getting ripped off. All right, guys, thank you for listening slash watching, and I will talk to you guys later.